Hey, Psych2Goers. Do you believe in the importance of privacy? Some people certainly do. And if you live a life without it, like many celebrities and public figures, it's easy to understand why it's so important to keep some things in your life to yourself. As British author C.S. Lewis once said, we live in a world starved for solitude, silence, and privacy, and therefore we are starved for meditation and true friendship. Because no matter how much we may want to open up and share our true selves with others, the kind of connection we crave for can only be satisfied if we respect our own privacy and be careful about who we let in. So here are seven things you're definitely better off keeping private. Number one, your family problems. Sometimes you're better off keeping your family problems to yourself because the truth is everyone has them, but no one really wants to hear about them. Anyway, the issues between you and your family stay between you and your family. Getting other people involved will only stir up more trouble than it's worth. So next time someone tries to stick their nose in your family's business, simply steer the conversation to another topic or tell them you prefer to keep it private. Number two, your relationship issues. Just like how you should keep your family problems within your family, it's better to keep your relationship issues within your relationship as well. Complaining too much about your significant other is only going to paint them in a bad light. And although your anger and frustration might pass, others might not be so forgiving. They might take you confiding your romantic troubles to them to mean that they have a say in your relationship, which they don't. Of course, if you're having issues with your relationship and need to confide in your friends, that's completely understandable. Number three, your income or financial situation. It's something of an unspoken social rule that it's generally considered rude to talk about money because no matter how much you make or aren't making, talking about your financial situation to other people is bound to either make them feel jealous, uncomfortable, or sorry for you. Complaining about being broke or comparing how much money you make with other people is never a good idea. After all, there's not much they can do about it, so what's the point? Better to just keep that between you and your bank account. Number four your fears and weaknesses. Talking about our fears and weaknesses takes us to a very vulnerable place. And it's a side of us we shouldn't show to just anyone. Some people can be incredibly two-faced and might just make fun of you behind your back, while others might try to manipulate and exploit you when given the chance. Others still might not understand or empathize with you, which is only going to make you feel worse. So before you tell anyone your worries or past mistakes, you need to be absolutely sure that they can be trusted. Number five, your dreams and goals. It's probably for the best that you keep most of your dreams and goals in life to yourself. The more people you share them with, the less motivated you're likely to become. Why? Because people always have something to say. And if you invite them into the conversation, they might try to fill your mind with criticisms, doubts, and discourage you. Especially if they can't understand why you want this or that. Don't worry too much about that though. It's not for them to understand. Your dreams are your own and you deserve to nurture them with the peace of mind only privacy can bring. Number six, your personal secrets. While this is something a lot of us learn at a young age, we should always be careful about who we choose to divulge our personal secrets to. Do you really know this person? Are you sure they can be trusted to keep your secrets and not spread it for gossip or use it against you next time you get into a fight? If you're not careful about who you trust, it could lead to a lot of embarrassment, pain, and heartbreak for you down the road. So make sure you trust who you share your secrets with. And number seven, other people's secrets. Similar to the previous point, if someone trusts you enough to tell you something in confidence, then it simply wouldn't be right to do anything to break their trust or jeopardize your relationship with them. It might not have been easy for them to share that with you and letting other people know about it without their consent could be very upsetting to them. Just imagine how humiliated and betrayed you might feel if someone did that to you you wouldn't wish that for anyone else, now would you? So what do you think? Do you keep these things to yourself? What other things do you think are better to keep private? If you have any more tips or suggestions, leave them in the comments down below. And remember, these are not hard rules that you should always stick to. Every situation is different and it's important to talk about things that stress you out, as long as it's with someone trustworthy.